evil must be punished. Um, <laughs> how, how, how do I put this? How, how do I, what do I do with this information? It, se it seems like, it, it seems like, um, and I'm not, I'm not a doom and gloomer. That's, that's the thing. I mean, I'm stern, okay, I'm serious. But doom and gloom, nah, I don't go really that far, usually. But it seems like lately, man, that's all I'm getting. So, what am I talking about? Well, somebody is trying to kill us. And I think we all know who that somebody is. David Rockefeller and his buddies. It was David Rockefeller and his Bilderberg buddies that said they wanted to decrease the human population by 85%. Okay? So well, what, what, what are they doing? What's going on? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> In July of 2008, they are going to send a vehicle into Saturn that is about the equivalent of six nuclear bombs, uh, 600, excuse me, 600 nuclear bombs that we dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right. In other words, it will produce a heat hotter than the core of the sun. Literally. It will literally produce a heat hotter than the core of the sun. The core of the sun, I think, according to one video I watched, is something like 30 million rads. This is going to be 160 million rads. Okay. Okay, you follow me? All right. What we got? We got the, we got we got a satellite out there, powered by nuclear power, obviously, and it's got all these nuclear rods in it. And if it plows into Saturn, well, Saturn is not a planet, okay? Jupiter, Saturn, and I think Uranus and Neptune are not true planets, okay? Not planets in the thing in the way we think, okay? Um, you know, for a, a normal planet like you and I think, we can land on the planet's surface, get out, walk around, yada, 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 right? Okay? The Saturn, Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are not true planets, though. You can't land on them. They're they're gas. They're a gas giant. Okay, they're not a true planet. Oh, I'm sure they got a little tiny hard core in there somewhere, but you know th what we're seeing is not planet surface. It's just a big ball of gas. Okay, so if you shove enough nuclear material into it, and it happens to be composed of the same uh, uh, chemicals that the sun is composed of. And that crushing pressure crushes on that, on those nuclear rods. The result is a thermonuclear detonation that will dwarf two or three of our suns. Okay. So we are talking about literally turning the sun. Into, or a turning a, a either Jupiter or Saturn into a sun, a second sun in our solar system. They tried it on Jupiter. Here's, here's something I didn't even know. They try, well, I did know, but I didn't know. I knew they, they put an old satellite into Jupiter and crashed it into Jupiter, but I had no idea it was carrying several kilotons of nuclear fissile material. Okay, that part they kind of conveniently left out. What I read, okay, I later found out that, yeah, they did. That failed, but it left a nice big black spot on Jupiter's, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere. So now we're going to try and we're going to do it to Saturn. They are determined to ignite Saturn or Jupiter or Uranus or Neptune into a second sun and the result of which it, it, it will, ca will cause us to have two suns, which means, first of all, there won't be any nighttime. That's the first problem right there. 
Second problem is that you'll have double the heat than what you would have normally had, which makes life on Earth, if not unbearable, impossible. Okay? Because that second sun will be producing uh, additional radiation that we would normally be we would not normally be exposed to. So, and I'm out of smokes. So I gotta go get me another pack. Shit. <laughs>